Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create and use a password reset disk in Windows 11. Uh, this will also work in a similar fashion for Windows 10. And this can only be used with uh, local accounts. If you have a Microsoft account, then if you forget your password, you're going to have to do something different, which I'll kind of show you how that works at the end here. So we have this Cindy local account here uh, set up with a password and also a PIN. So if you put in your PIN wrong too many times, It'll just keep letting you try and eventually give you this uh, a fra challenge phrase that you have to type in and then it'll let you try your pin again. So um, you can't get to the password reset disk doing that way if you're just using the uh, pin option. So if you click on the sign in options here, you should have this key thing that'll let you use your password and, you know, instead of your pin. So let's say you don't know your password. And then you, you give up and, you know, if, you're, if you don't know your password hint, that doesn't help you you click on reset password and then you have your security questions and if you don't know those then you could use the password reset disk but in order to have a password reset disk you need to create one first so we're going to uh, cancel this log in and create one with with the account that you want to use it on so if you're using a local account, make sure you create the password reset as using that account. So to do so, you could go to control panel or you could just go to search here and type in password reset disk. And make sure you have a like a flash drive plugged in before you start this. Otherwise, it'll give you an error saying you have nothing to create it on. And sometimes if you even type this, it, it takes too while to think. And if that's the case, you could go to control panel. And then go to user accounts and then create pass create a password reset disk and you can see this is a local account and also an admin okay so you get to the main screen here and it just gives you an overview of what it's going to do click on next and then you could pick your uh, flash drive from here if you have more than one i just have one so i'm going to go with the one that's in there and you got to type in your current password in order to do this And so I've done this before, so this is just telling me that there's already one for this uh, user account and creating a new one will make the old one usable, so you won't get this message if you've never done this before. So that's a pretty quick prog process there, so click on next and finish, and now we could uh, log out and try it out. Okay, so if we... Uh, Type in the password wrong and so on. And then we get the reset password option here. And like if you don't know your security questions, then you can go to the option, use a password reset disk. And then a little intro, click on next. Pick the flash drive that you made it on. Okay, new password. Password hint if you want, next, and then finish. So now I'll cancel this, and I'll go log in with this new password I just typed in there. And it looks like we're in. So once again, you could just search for, you know, password reset disk, and if it takes you there, fine. Otherwise, you could go to control panel. So like I said, you type it in, and it's kind of lags there so some of you might be better off just going to control panel user accounts and then create password reset disk and just remember this has to be for a local user so now let's real quick log out and see what happens if you use a uh, microsoft account here okay so i know we have the todd sims here he's a microsoft account so if you, know, if you type it in wrong, it's going to say it's incorrect. If you can't remember your password, you could create it from lock, set it from lock screen or go to this URL here. So if you click on I forgot my password. So what it'll do is you could either have an email, you a code to the uh, Microsoft account email that you used to create the account, which you'd have to type in there and have it send it off. Or if you don't have any of those, 
then you have to go to this long address here to reset your password. So um, if you need to do this for Microsoft Account Office, you're going to have to have another device that you can log in with your email to get the code that it's going to send it to, and you need to type the rest of your email to get to go through with there. Then once you send it there and then get the code, you can type in the code, and you can reset your password that way. But anyways, this video is about using the password reset disk for a local account. So if you need to go ahead and do that, if you plan on using any local accounts, so it's a good thing to have in case you forget what it was. So give it a shot. Make sure you have a USB flash drive in there before you start, and you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.